Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. At the end of the last episode, we had met, eventually got Warren Buffett finished at last. <laughs> that was quite an uphaul. But that leaves us some more quests. Let's just have a look at what we got to do. I'm not crystallised, let's take flight. We've basically got just two more. So let's see if we can do this fusion reactor. And that will give us one fusion coil as a replace or reward. So, so what do we have to do to get a fusion reactor? I think it's fairly straightforward. No, oh, not there. Fusion reactor, yes, I left it on even though I'm going to change it. So we need 64 antimony ingots and 64 flamite. Now this one is actually easy. I just need to self-craft ellipse flamite ore with some pyrothium dust, both of which are fairly straightforward because I've already been to ellipse and got that stuff. Now the other one was the antimony ingots. And what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to set up a recipe for that because to be dead honest with you, it's a, it's a pain because it's all this UU matter. So let's have a look at that one. I probably can do that from here, can't I? So that's the ore converter. We have to use the blast furnace um, from the dust. Let's get the dust out, which is made by UU matter. Oh no, it's made by this one. Okay, so we need these <laughs> tetrahydrate dust. This is all we need to make. This makes two of these. Okay. I don't think I have a recipe for this yet. So let's just get this recipe sorted out. And also get some more patterns into the being here. For some reason, they seem to have disappeared. My recipe for patterns has disappeared. Oh. I don't know where it is. It'll be around somewhere, I'm sure. Um, why can't this? Oh, there it is. I should don't know where that's gone to. Hmm, never mind. Let's just change that to a shape craft. Yeah, okay. Let's put that into the system. Just, I, it's a very strange, this one, actually. Let's look for a pattern. Yeah, there is one here. Look, molecular assembly. Why is it not showing up on here? Yeah, that's weird. I wonder which one it's in. Let's go back again and have a look. Take this one out of here, pattern. Molecular assembly. That should work. Hmm. Let's clear the other one off anyway. I'll put the other one in. Let's put the other one back into the molecular assembler. Let's just try it. Let's just try it in here, see if it actually works in here. This is in this bed. This is in the uh, compact room. So let's see if we can craft some patterns now. Yeah, and we got ten. Most peculiar. Don't ask me what's going on there. I think I have seen a few little problems like this before. So the, let's go back to what we were doing. That was the fusion reactor. So we need the antimony ingots, which are made by centrifuging of this stuff. Try going again. So that's the recipe I need. It's here. Let's get this one out so we can actually do this. And to make, we need eight of these, don't we? So let's get that into the molecular assemblers as well. Right, let's put this one in here and I'll clear this one off as well so we don't need to do that shift right click it put that back in here like that so we need eight of these things so let's get those out of here first of all you've got two now we need another six let's craft six of these start that should go quite quickly so now we've got a new recipe let's go i don't think there's anything else that we can do for this one let's just go back to this one so it's the dust i want and it's in the is this one i need so basically eight of those is going to produce one antimony dust dust and it's got to produce some copper sulfur and some iron i don't actually care about those so what i'm going to do now 
Let's change this to a processing recipe. Clear this off and just say eight of those is going to equal one of the what we want, the antimony dust. So let's go downstairs and make that. Now that's made in the centrifuge, and I haven't automated. That's a centrifuge here, isn't it? An industrial centrifuge. And I haven't automated this yet. We can get this going faster. Do we need to? No, we don't, because it's already powered up to maximum. I don't think it'll go faster if we put more power into it. We can try. Let's see if it goes faster. So I need some more red stucks, redstone flux duct. I should probably go in my bag, actually. Plenty of it. Let's just put some down the sides. If it goes faster, it goes faster. If it doesn't, and we don't lose that anywhere, do we? So I'll put that on there. Then it all links together, which I don't like. So let's just make sure it doesn't do it like that. And the same on this side. We don't want loops ever. So let's see if that making anything's any faster. 31%. It's going to take its time. What I probably should do is automate this these centrifuges in the same way I've done this. It's fairly straightforward. But anyway, let's go and get that flame light while I'm thinking about this. This is basically just as simple as doing this. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 64 flame light. So that's really trivial to do. But the antimony stuff is going to take a while, which is a shame. Yes, it is definitely going to take a while. So I should set it up to automate this shouldn't I so we basically need three item routers that's the open computers one and I think oh yeah, this is where I want to be so I've got ten we actually only need three I think I'll take four just in case we'll need some filters item filters we'll also need some bandwidth upgrades Ah, well, it probably could do with some speed up, but I don't know whether that makes any difference. We might try it and see if it helps. We're going to need some power. I'm going to take two of these, and I think this will work. We shall see. I'll take the wrench just in case. And that, I think, is all we need to do for now. Okay. I think... That I probably could do with a chest, so let's go and get a chest out of the system. One. Actually, I've got more than that. I've got a lot of them on me. So what we're going? Where am I going to do this? I should probably do this in the compact room. But first of all, we'll set it out where we can actually got a lot of space and we can see what we're doing. So let's start here. I could move all this stuff away because that's probably in the way now. And this one I could actually also move away. This is actually, I don't... Yeah, let's move this one away. This is actually upgraded, so I don't need to worry about it. You can tell by the, the pattern. So let's do it. start doing it here. I'll just put this room back in just in case it's actually the key one. This is the one that does... I'll put it, let's put it, say, here. Doesn't make any difference. That was the one that was the demonstration one I did. So here looks like a good place. So let's first of all bring out a chest. Uh, do I want a chest? Yes, I do. I'm going to do it one block away like that. And then I'm going to set up the, the item routers. So we basically want one item router to collect the stuff, which is what I put here. We want one item router to feed in slot one and one item router to feed in slot two. And we also would like to put down an energy router here like that facing the wrong way of course I think I need it to be on this side can I put that down on the top let's have a look let's take my wrench and shift right click this it doesn't make any difference right so I have to break it oops too heavy <laughs> never mind we got in this chest a bits and pieces right good Let's put those two. Actually, I'll use it. Let me build this one out here and just make sure I put them back in like that. Good. So, what I want to do here is I want to see if it or not I can put this down facing down. No, I can't. It's got to be on the sides. I wonder if I can rotate it with this. 
Oh, it doesn't look like it can. Okay, and then I want to presumably move things around a little bit. Let's just take this off here. It's done it again, brilliant. And also let's remove this one. Now this one I can actually move with the wrench, which is, which is what makes me think it was a bit strange in the first place. Now, I've got a feeling, I can't remember to be honest with you. Let's put this here. And let's put the, the item router back down here. You see this one's changed shape because it's been put down. Oh, it's just that one's been put down, hasn't it? If I break it, it, it breaks and it comes back as a, like that. If I break it, then it goes as a, a large one. And this is the small one which I put down before. Now, if I break that, it'll then become a large one, which will stack. There's nothing in them at the moment, so it makes no problem. There's no deal, no big deal. So we need to get some power into this. Oh yes, I think I probably wanted to do it this side, didn't I? Let's just break that again. Put this down again, and I want it to face this way because we've got the cryostabilized stabilized flux ducked up here. So we'll get some out of the bag here. What have I got? Five pieces. That should be enough to bring it down. And I've got some lots of redstone cable anyway. Let's bring this down. five and then we can connect that in like that and I'm hoping and I'm going to have to move this chest out of the way which is going to be a bit of a nuisance but what I can do is like this I suppose have I got a moving I don't have a moving one let's just take let's get one out of the system I know I've got some moving ones in the system eight let's just move it with the wand it's the easiest isn't it don't have to pick up the stuff and move it around then like that so now what I'm hoping let's get some centrifuges out now they have gone upstairs now this is where I have to start becoming carefully because these are tech reborn things unlike industrial craft if you break them you break them and that's they're broken literally right let's be bearings again now what I think we can do is we put these down like this they should get power so let's have a look see these have got power which is which is really good because that's what we actually want them to do both of them have got power let's take a break here and put down another couple over here and then given another one of these i want to see if it works in both directions so i need to bring some cable across from that down here which of course i would do from this but what i want to do is i want to make sure i'm only connecting to this machine on one face so let's bring it like this to test whether or not these machines are getting loaded up and sure enough they are if you look at this if you look at the screen at the top they're both filled up now at 2500 so that what I'm trying to do is to maximize the the power to these things let's put another one down in the middle of course that's going to fill it slot again isn't it so they're all but they'll be powered from both sides now so what we now want to do is we want to do that from below and above at the same time and all the faces. So let's do that. I might just do that in my own time actually because it's fairly straightforward. Just break stuff away like that. Oh brother. Oh, I'm getting a bit careless for that. Never mind. Let's see if we can... Can we do that? No, we can't. Okay, so I'll just have to put these back manually. or we'll use a, a less aggressive pickaxe might be a good process as well so let's get some more I need some more redstone flux duct and we basically connect everything up like that so it's going to be everything's going to be connected up on all faces of this to maximize the speed it's not so important for the antimony dust which should actually now be completed indeed it is but it is important for the um, what are they called? I've forgotten the name of them in here. The detrums, these cells basically, the cells are quite expensive. Actually, I do need to sell with me as well. So, right. Now, we need to set up the recipes in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one here to extract items. So, we'll set that current mode to output. We want it to extract. That means it's going to pull everything out of those 
from the output slots of these. So the output slots are these four here. And these two, the top left and the centre one, are input slots. Now this is slot 0 and this is slot 1, I think. So let's just try that. So what I'd like to do is to put in here an item filter. Yeah, these are the item filters. No, those are the machine filters. We need that. And we also need item filters. I've got some item filters I don't have. Let's quickly make some item filters. That shouldn't be too difficult. Oops. M filter. Nope, not there. Let's try again. I think they're called item filters. Can't see it there to start with. Um, so we'll simply do it at root or reborn. So we want this one here. Let's select this. I oh, need some chests. What's happened to my letters? I'm to keep typing them. Let's craft four of these. Ah, oh, let's craft 16. It ain't expensive. Right, so we want four of these. One, two, three. I guess I need some redstone torches. Let's craft, let's craft 16 of these as well. Right, that's just just to be on the safe side of things, really. They're not too expensive these days. They were at the beginning, of course, but now then we've progressed away from that. So, right, the filter upgrades. I want to basically put these on each one of these. They're certainly on the first two. So I'll right -click, shift right-click that on there and on here. We'll also make sure we do the machines as well, because we want the machine filters on the left and the left. And we should also get some bandwidth filters, which are here. So they're going to move one stack at a time. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put some speed filters on these, I think. Like that. Speed boost installed. So that's to prevent things actually happening fast. Let's just pick up this chest. Because this is where it's going to all get the stuff is going to go in from here. So we need an interface from this one. Let's get an interface out of my bag. I don't have one there, do I? An let me interface. Yeah, I should put down a fat one like this and just put it down. Oops, what did I do? Right, like that. Let's just select this with a wrench. I wonder if this wrench works. We'll try it. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay, let's just try it with the standard wrench like that. There we go. So that's pointing into that. We're going to anywhere else. Okay, now. So let's go upstairs now and get what we need the uh that dust should be i need the recipe don't i so i've got the recipe in here now like this and one of those is going to make one of these i don't think we care about copper iron but maybe we could put in sulfur here as a thing but then it'll show up as sulfur when i make this one. Oh no i didn't that's good okay fantastic bit inconsistent the way that works but it doesn't matter very much so we now shall go and put that into that ME interface downstairs here I'm having a think here actually I might have done no I think I've done this right let me double check what I've done over here because I've forgotten so basically that's the interface coming in and let's get pulled out that's what the trick is so now let's just connect this up I need some ME glass cable which I've got in here like that ah okay I've got one underneath I don't even need to do it that way do I so anyway that'll be fine I've got cable running underneath the floor that's why it's come up like that I didn't expect that to happen never mind so what we can now do is we can order some antimony dust. But let's first of all just look at these two machines here. So we've got a filter. We haven't specified what we want in this filter, and these are white listed, so nothing's going to be pulled in. Same on this one. The machine filters are obviously going to be the, not the chest. Ah, this is a pain. 
because this thing here is actually blocking the machine it's not going through these machines which which means I can't do one face never mind what we'll do is we'll remove this one very carefully of course because I don't want to break those other machines and put in its place another industrial centrifuge like that and then we should be able to see that machine on the band field yesterday we can now see the industrial centrifuges and it's the same for this one and it's going to be the same for this one which we haven't put the, the machine interface on yet let's just make sure we have done industrial centrifuge now these things aren't going to be produced very fast so we don't care about that so the next thing we need to do is let's put into here let's order some antimony dust first of all we should be able to order that now let's craft one of those start so it says I need eight to craft eight of those which is correct 20 I mean so let's start that so those should go into here into this chest fantastic they are so what we can now do is we can take an antimony dust out of here take one and we can then put this into this filter and this is going to go to slot zero so let's go back here so I want to change to slot mode and I want slot zero and I'm going to put into the this filter here this item like that so now let's put those out of there these should automatically get fed into here on slot zero let's have a look ah yes I think I've also got to set up the chest as an input I don't remember to be honest with you because it's got nothing in here currently in extract mode I've got a feeling I've done something else in here to, to get it to move across but I'm not exactly sure what I've done because I don't quite get it that's set to, this is basically set to this one the only difference is here I haven't got assembly machines the rest of what's going in bandwidth stack ignore redstone which is the default one so how are they getting pulled into this item router because they do <laughs> hmm now that's an interesting challenge isn't it does it have to be set up first or maybe I just have to put in a I'm sure I did it before I'll tell you what we'll do we'll make sure we do it with a, a duct of some description so we actually push it into this I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway so we need a duct what am I going to use I'm going to use the ender IO ones I think we'll need three so we're going to take it out of here put it across to those two because that one's going to take it out which we'll use the interface for for doing that so let's go and get this now let's change those directions there oops missed I'm jumping up and down because I'm standing on the cable right and this is extract only now what we can do of course is they won't accept anything except what they're allowed to accept let's just turn this on right click it now that should have let's have a look and it's put four in there and four in here now that's not good that's not what I wanted it to do because it, I is that's because of this thing here it's not basically pulling everything out in one go so we need to upgrade that so let's do that next I think I might have enough upgrade here to do one stack at a time which I have good so I'll put this onto these here so we can do one stack at a time uh, so whatever goes in gets out pushed out straight away let's get that out of oh it's not in there is it uh, oh it's in here of course I don't know what I'm thinking about take those out of there and take those out of there and then when we push this in now this will go into actually it'll go into the third machine in one stack so it'll come in here and as you can see it's starting to turn around like that so all I need to do now is to pull the extract out of here when it's done so let's just take 
the ME cable which is actually going underneath here but I'll do it that way I want to do it on the top to be honest with you so let's just do it on the top I haven't got enough ME glass cable with me let's get some more it's basically this one I want to import it from anything that goes in there will get imported into that one and then we can go up from here it doesn't matter if it's got a second connector on there either like that so all we now need is an import bus on here which I will not do straight away we want one out of the system here like that until this is finished which is actually not too bad it's making progress so what we could also do is order some more let's do that because that's obviously working let's order another we've got that five I'll do ten when you're gonna need them anyway that should go into here like this but there should go in one oh tell you what i haven't done i should put some blocking mode that's important so what have we got in here eight 16 16 16 and eight no it's gone up to 16 now so they're all done to 16. so they've all got 16 in which is fine because they'll all get spun out and what we should get this is the one that's gone first, isn't it? 67%. What this should do is this should pull the, the items out of here. Now the next thing we want to do is let's have a look at the uses of this. I think the only thing we can do that's actually any use at all, that's no use because we can't do anything with this afterwards, is to put it through the blast furnace because that's an alloy smelter which we can't make. The blast furnace to produce one ingot. To double check it, let's have a look at the uses of that one. Basically nothing as far as I can see. And the uses of this one will make liquid antimony, but we can't put that back into an ingot form. So therefore, the best thing to do with this is to take one of these and put it into a, an export filter onto the, onto the furnace here and take it out the other side. And that's no big deal, we can do that. So let's do that as well. I've got it already with me, haven't I? So basically, if we just take this down here like this, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to export dust into here. So let's just put an export filter first of all. Oh, one out of the bag, got 24, so that's good. What we're going to put into this filter is antimony dust like that. So any antimony dust is going to come into here and get blasted so and that should work already because everything's lit up let's go back over here and check what's happening over here now if that one's actually finished yes it does so in here we should have some contents we've got some three copper so all we now need to do is to export those out or take them out of the system let's just take them out of the system so now we get our antimony dust so we'll import that now we'll set the import bus on here like that and it'll just pull it out we can see then we've got the sulfur dust and then we get we can actually put this in here and it should get taken out as well so that means that that, that will have automatically gone through the system and it should have actually cancelled that recipe off now let's have a look it's crafting three of those in fact that first one probably needs cancelling let's cancel that because it's already done And this is working it's done eight crafting eight and we've done two already haven't we? we must have done two so in here we should these should have been imported i hope then look yes it's lit up so that means it's working and sure enough we're going to get one ingot in a few seconds time like that so and then comes in the next one so we're getting our second ingot in like a third one so it's working quite nicely so what we can now do, of course, is put the import bus on the side of this. We don't care what we import, of course. 
and they get taken away. So now we can actually change our recipes a bit. So I can go back to that recipe and then say I don't want just dust, I want ingots. So let's go back over here. Let's take this out of here and let's take an ingot out because we'll have some ingots in the system. We'll go and fix that recipe. Because to be honest with you, there's nothing else we can do except for make that. Ah, yes, that's why it didn't work because I didn't put these in there. That's what the problem with that one was. I took them out. Okay, we don't need the iron either. Put those away. So now we'll change this recipe. Let's get the ingots out of the thing. Here. And just basically, we'll update that one clear off that one and just update the recipe for this oh try again so this time we're going to make ingots which is actually what we want and we need 64 of those so we're going to have to use a lot of materials so let's just go back and put this back into here and we'll see what we've actually got for antimony that. What have we got for antimony ingots? We have got four plus whatever's being blasted over here. Five. So we basically got nine. I think we requested six. I can't remember to be honest with you. We've got stuff working in here. There's another one there. I think we did 16, didn't we? So we need another 48. Let's see if we can craft 48 ingots of this stuff. Nope. <laughs> We're missing 633 UU matter. Wow. That is going to take a long time to do. We've got some scrap, 1.3 million scrap, but that's only going to produce another stack of those. I'm going to have to just wait because there's nothing else we can do. So that's it for this episode and I will be back. I'll probably miss one out because I don't think to get enough scrap to make this is going to take a very long time. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.